Righto, from one big collision area to the next, this is the tackle. And I'm sure my guests have their own opinions. But first, here's the right way to do it. I should always be on the core, whether tackling up around the ball or around the legs. Remember to keep moving forward into contact. I like to position myself slightly inside the ball carrier, so I'm always on his inside shoulder. I should always keep my face up, keep my feet alive, and position my leading foot close to the ball carrier. I need to drive with my legs, making firm contact with my shoulder, and make sure I keep my head to the side and keep driving. Then I punch my arms forward and wrap tightly around the ball carrier. And I should continue to power drive through to complete the tackle and end up on top of the ball carrier. Finally, I must release and get to my feet as fast as possible before I can compete for the ball. Right, so that's easy in 3D. Paulie, as a player, what do you got? So as, as a player, I reckon that theory is great, but I know if I want to put a hit on, I'm going to use my right shoulder. That's my dominant shoulder. And if someone's running straight or it's a pressure tackle, sometimes you're encouraged more to use your right shoulder, even if it's not necessarily the one that you should be making the tackle with, cheek mm. to cheek. Um, so I think maybe you could do some more training and, and really focus on using your less dominant shoulder in your um, trainings to try and have more confidence in it so that you don't you can put hits on with both shoulders. Brilliant. So, Sammy, I'm um, going to come to you, mate, on how you might coach some of that. How important do you see it um, as a coach to progress uh, the skill of a tackle? Well, the tackle technique, it really comes down to the confidence in that and in, in the kids making the tackles. Uh, having worked with various grades and that within the school, starting from first 15, I'm, I'm going back to the, the basics and that with these kids as well. So that's at the top end of the school. So, and that goes right through to our year seven and eights. And uh, the basics being the key factors? Is key it factors, it? yeah. So um, obviously the same foot, same shoulder, right. cheek to cheek, and then leg drive and going to ground. Now a lot of kids are, are taught bag technique and by lifting legs and stuff. So a lot of that stuff is, is trying to get that out of out of the system and that's by repetition mm. in that as well. So Anna, your experience as a player, how are our coaches doing out there around this type of stuff? I mean every coach is going to coach it differently um, and so you know as a player I love tackling, I, I'm a forward, I'm a prop, I, that's my favourite part of rugby and um, to learn tackling or to make sure that my tackling is on point um, I find doing live tackling the best. So mm. you can tackle tackle pads, bags as much as you want, but they're not going to simulate what it's really like on the rugby field. Mm. So I find that my tackle technique has gotten a lot better since doing a lot more live work. And we do it, you know, it, it could be closer up or also they say 50%, 60%. So we're not smashing each Build other, but you're still getting, okay, this person just steps. I was lining up to go with this shoulder. Now I have to, all, all, you know, all of a sudden change shoulders and make sure that I hit with my mm. left. I know in the Hurricanes and might be other teams, they um, use that term Tai Chi where they start really slow and almost slow motion doing through the activity and then slowly build it up. So something awesome that the coaches could implement as well. I'm going to chuck it over to uh, uh, Ben around refereeing. What are you guys looking for at um, this part of the game? Yeah, so as, as referees, our job is to allow the players to you know, enjoy the game of rugby and you know, create flow and allow the spectacle that the game is. And, we also have to just sanction on um, poor technique, especially around the tackle. And um, like we, you know, we showed good technique there. There's a lot of tackles in rugby um, that is poor and it's negative because it can cause um, bad injuries. Um, that being around high tackles, um, tackles where players are lifted and driven into the ground, um, tackling a player in the air, and even just at a at a tackle ruck or breakdown situation, players arriving and um, you know, leading with their, with their shoulder. So all, these are all techniques that as referees, you know, we really need to be on top of because it's not just a, a case of we're gonna penalize a player, yellow card a player, or maybe even give them a red card if we think it's dangerous enough, which can you know, change the, the result of the game. Um, but it's also that the players, when they're being put in this position because of bad technique, um, their necks are in a, a flexion or extension position, which is very dangerous. Um, and as we've seen, fortunately, over the last few years, it's been improving. Um, you know, there can be some pretty serious injuries that these players um, can be put under if, um, if they have poor technique.